Hi everyone. Welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial video series. In this video, we gonna talk about our search feature, to see how it works, and how to use it. We'll go through four sub-features, they are Instant Search Display, Search Page Display, Suggestion Dictionary, and Search Settings. Before we start, you should get to know some elementary terms that we use a lot in our product filter and search app. First thing you should know, on-site search basically includes the instant search bar, usually displaying on all pages, and the search result page. While using our app, you may wonder how our search engine works, and what is the algorithm behind it. The best way to answer this is to check out search settings. At search fields, you could see that by default, our app can search by product type, tag, vendor, title, barcode, product options, and SKU, following this order. You can enable searching by product description as well. Or even disable some unwanted search fields. One thing to notice, you can drag and drop each field, to rearrange the priority as you want. We also support searching by meta field, and have prepared other documents for you to follow. Right next to search fields is advanced settings. The advanced settings are used to change the minimum percentage must match of search terms, thus improve the accuracy of the search engine. The default and recommended minimum percentage of search term must match is 100% for those that are two-word, and 85% for those that are three-word and above. Before moving on to the next sub-feature, let's make something clear first. Here we are in our example store. When typing the queries in the search bar, we call all of the result previews, including popular suggestions, collections, products, pages, by the name Instant Search Widget. And the product suggestion displayed here, can be all customized thanks to the power of Instant Search Display. Back to our app dashboard, Instant Search Display is basically where you can adjust how these blocks show on your search bar. Remember that you always can disable this Instant Search, simply with one tap. Now, use the Instant Search widget to manage popular suggestions, collections, products, and pages. Here, you get the power to disable unwanted blocks, rename, reorder, or change the maximum shown results for each block. Besides, adjusting what information you want to show on the product suggestions block is a piece of cake with this function. For example, I rename pages into blog and pages and reorder it to the top hide product image and out of stock products, and click save. After saving, you can check the storefront to see the difference. Here is the blog and pages section, and we no longer see the product image. Moving next, you wouldn't want to miss such a handy feature, especially designed to help you deal with no search results page. When your customers search for keywords that return no products, you can use the feature No Search Result Suggestions to provide them other alternatives. This helps your customers discover other results under your control, thus encourage product discovery and boost conversion. To use this feature, simply enable and type the suggested keywords, or choose Recommended Products, and click Save. In my example, I set the keyword Bikini Set and Product Pink Bikini Set. After saving, when you search a keyword with no results such as sun, it displays the suggested keyword bikini set and product pink bikini set. Moving on, we will walk through how to update the presence of your search result page, with the help of search page display feature. By default, the search result page will display matched products only. However, if you are using the latest version of the app, you could display collections, and blog and pages as well. To do it, access search page display setting, and get them enabled. You could also rename, define how many results to be shown, or display their images as well. Here is how the collection and blog and page results look like on the search page. Lastly, we will see how to change the priorities of these auto-suggestions, with the help of Suggestion Dictionary feature. Let's say, if you search on-site with keyword like dress, some popular suggestions white dress, little black dress will display. But you want to promote the little black dress item more, how to push that specific keyword to the top suggestion? In this case, our Suggestion Dictionary feature can help you. 
You just need to click add new button, type little black dress in suggestion, and set its priority to high. At the same time, add white dress, and set its priority to low. Then, click save suggestions. It will take less than a minute before the updated suggestions dictionary is applicable. Now check it out on your storefront. The little black dress is now showing above all of other suggestions. Remember that, you can always edit your suggestion list, and delete unwanted items anytime. Final handy tip for you. You are able to add as many as suggestions to create your own dictionary, and then export it under CVS file, to import to other stores. So, this is the end of the tutorial. Reach us at support at boostcommerce.net if you need any further assistance.